Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We know a lot of you like to see what we're eating. I don't know why. <laughs> it's beyond me. But we decided to do a food vlog while we were here in Playa del Carmen. There are two sides of it, really. There's the tourist side, and then there's the local side. So we're going to show you both. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's go. So we've recorded a lot of breakfasty stuff and that's mainly because we don't go out during the day and most of the time during the evening because it's just so hot. When we go for breakfast, we leave early before it gets too warm and that's usually also our walk. So we get our walking stuff on, we go for a walk, it's what, 10 blocks? Yeah, it's, it's a mile to the tourist zone and back, so we get a two mile walk. And I think also we avoid a lot of the tourists in the morning, they're all partying up late at night and so they're not up early. So we can get out there and have some breakfast and then walk back before it gets too hot. And a lot of times we end up stopping at the grocery store or picking up things on our way back. Um, and that way we don't have to go back out for whatever. So uh, it's, it's worked out pretty well. There are some places that we did go to earlier on uh, when we first got here before it got as warm as it did. But uh, I don't think we took any, well, we might have taken a couple little videos. If so, we'll yeah. see them. Yeah, we'll put the videos in of what we've eaten in the tourist area. And so let's start that roll now. Ah, let's try this spot. Let's see what this spot's all about. Looks pretty good. They do like to give you big orange juices here. In a margarita glass. In a margarita glass, yeah. Make you feel like you're having a cocktail. All right, I got huevos rancheros. I know. And Sarah got, what did Sarah get? Yeah, it's an omelet with their langonisa sausage. And I added um, spinach and there's onion and cheese. That's yummy, doesn't it? Yeah. Unique. You have to tell us how it tastes and what it tastes like. Mm. Very good. The sausage is really tasty. It's got a, um, if I were to like put it between kind of a, I would say like a bratwurst and a little bit of a chorizo, maybe? It's yummy. All right, Kevin's gonna tell us how his label French rolls yeah. taste. Yes. Mmm, tastes just like Wayless French rolls. Yeah, and you're gonna save that little bit on your beard for later. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> There's our bill. La cuenta. They do have Subway and other things here, such as IHOP, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. If you really need to have that American food fix. Here's another lovely meal out for breakfast after, during our walk. We found this spot. Mm. And this jam, oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. What do you think, babe? Look good? Looks good. Go eat. This is carboncitos. 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 And I think I'm going to have that. European? Let's see. And we can see the water. Yeah. Yogurt with looks like papaya and pineapple and a ham and cheese croissant. Mmm. It's like the granola's on the bottom. Mm. 
She yep. got the European breakfast. I did. I went for huevos motolenos. Motolenos. Okay. Motol, whatever. <laughs> Eggs and stuff. Mm. Comes with toast, juice. Yeah. Breakfast. We walked over here and we found a place that is sealed in with air conditioning, which is nice. The food has arrived. Oh, wow. Today I'm having waffles. <laughs> And this is really good, but it's quite um, spicy. I can still eat it, but I just drink a lot of water with it. So luckily, I got my water ready. Got some yummy papaya, pineapple, and banana, yum. All right, we are trying a new place today. Called Las Camellias. Let's see what they got. So what looks good to you? Well, I don't know. Look at this omelette a la Florentina, which sounds delicious. Mm. I might add some pollo, con pollo, but... All right, Sarah got... Scrambled eggs and bacon, and looks like hash browns with some kind of herb inside. Looks tasty. Mm. See, their, their bacon here is very much like ham. Yeah. So, it's like scrambled eggs and bacon or ham. I got an omelet. Just a ham, just a regular ham and cheese omelet, nothing special. And some beans with a green tortilla chip. Yep. We've got some kind of animal kingdom thing going on over here and there's this black and white large cat how's that babe good that's the muy cuidado hot it's, it's not hot it's, it's more a, like on a scale of one to ten it's more like a four and a half five for me for sarah it's like 11. <laughs> i'm el wimpo so the wind is picking up. Hopefully you can hear me. This is where we just ate. And this is the little kitty place where the cats are trying to get out. All right, the meal has arrived. Everything here is 23 pesos. Sarah's getting her salsa for her tacos. This is a loncharita, tostada, fish taco, and a fish po' boy. Okay. And that's where we ate. Everything is 23 pesos. So now we're gonna show you some of the local food that we're eating. It's usually pretty cheap too, but it's good. It is, it's tasty. So let's take a look. Okay, normally when we order at Las Quecas, what we do is we bring it home because it's so close. And so we just bring it back to our place and sit down and grab our Yummy. choice of beverage and eat. This is our fast food. This is when we're not in the mood of cooking. We just want to relax and eat. But this whole meal will fill us up and it costs $5.55 for this entire meal. This is by far the cheapest of the meals. Yummy. And it's good. 
And I've got chorizo sopes, or sope, whatever, however you pronounce it. Sopes. Sopes, chorizo sopes. And that's papas y chorizo quesadilla. So I got the chicken quesadilla. And they put, I think they must um, grill onions and some other seasonings and stuff. Very tasty, it's a little spicy. If it was any more spicy, it would probably be too much for me, but this is delicious, very flavorful, yum. So this is the food we get at our Chinese restaurant. It's, wow. our, it's our Chinese takeout, it's kind of like a Panda Express. It's in the grocery store and, and I got, well, rice. Their noodles are basically spaghetti noodles with basically a chicken broccoli with carrots and then like a, a sweet and sour chicken. And I got an egg roll. I always get the chicken and broccoli. And this whole thing was 166 pesos, which is about $8.50, $8.60. Not a bad deal. For dinner. Not, yeah, for dinner. How is it, dear? Do you want to explain it? It's chicken and broccoli. It's not really rocket science. Oh, so it's nothing special. But it'll do. It's vegetables. It's Mexican Panda Express. That's what it is. They don't do a lot of vegetables at a lot of places unless it's, you know, beans or um, rice. You know, the typical Mexican fare. So when you find something that has like dark green vegetables, you kind of grab onto it, at least if you're a Westerner. All right, time to eat. So we found this little, it's like a little French bakery, like what, three blocks away? We'd seen it before, but we hadn't come here. And so we thought, okay, short walk today. Kevin's kind of on the mend with his cold. So, oh my goodness, Vincent. And fresh bowl of fruit, yum. And Kevin got a croquet madame. Madam. Yum. Mm -hmm. This place is right next to the bus terminal that takes you to Tulum and into Cancun. How convenient. You could stop for breakfast and then head into town. I'm gonna take you to my local pizza place. This is where we come for our local pizza. It's called Don Goyos, and it's right in the neighborhood where we're staying. So it makes it convenient. We usually just take the pizza home instead of eat here, you know, with COVID stuff going on. We just, it's close to home, so we just take the stuff there. Well, we usually get two large pizzas because leftovers, duh. <laughs> And it works for the weekend because we don't really go out for the weekend because we don't have our COVID shots yet. So this gives us an opportunity to have some leftovers. So yeah, it we just, works. We kind of hang around the house during the weekends. Ooh. There's mine. Mmm, Hawaiian. Mm. And all you pineapple on pizza haters, you don't need to say anything. And mine's more like a, a meat lover's pizza. Except with... it has fungi. <laughs> has mushrooms <laughs> and then they give you this um pepper it's oil. Almost oil sauce thing which i don't put on because yeah it's oily but so, it's a thin crust pizza yeah and it's really good it is it's really really good so we're gonna eat so yay we go into the hope i don't burn my face <laughs> pizza there is one local spot that we absolutely love and if you do come to Playa del Carmen this is a must restaurant to go to you gotta look it up and it doesn't matter where you're staying get a taxi or whatever and go to it it's absolutely wonderful both the atmosphere and the service and the food absolutely delicious it's probably one of the most unique restaurants you will ever find yourself in and the, the name of the restaurant is called Alush. And it's spelled A-L-U-X. So, so, <laughs> so, we're gonna show you what it's like down there now.
Sarah and getting ready to enjoy your dinner. Yay! So nice here. I want to say this is the main dining room, but the caves go weave in and out everywhere, so. There's the bar. That's the entrance over there where you meet the maitre d'. Another bar. They do have these private areas back here. We got them named. It is very humid down here. So therefore, the lens may fog up. And it's a maze down here. It, it really is a maze. And amazing. Beautiful. It's well lit. Cava, huh? Oh, it's a. Oh, that's wow. Oh, AC. Yeah, right. <laughs> Stand right here. So, this is our wine cellar, which is the title oh. by section. Every section is a country Mexico, French, United States, Spanish, right. Italian, Chile, and Argentina. That's the cheap stuff. Over that's there. the cheap stuff. Yeah, I can yeah. tell. <laughs> it's... And the bubbles. <laughs> bubbles are down here, huh? Yeah. Our appetizer, it's a uh, tempura shrimp, like house special tacos with it looks like cilantro and some other kind of greens on it. Yum, got a taste. Mm. Oh. Some kind of yummy sauce. Sarah, tell us what you got. Well, I got lobster risotto, which there's a lobster tail sitting on top of my risotto. So I'm all excited about that. What'd you get? I got salmon. Ooh, what kind of sauce? Coconut sauce. Oh, yum. With asparagus and a little bit of potatoes and stuff. A little bit of risotto. Oh, gotta get some greens on there. Mmm. Very creamy and delicious. Yum. Dessert menu. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Exactly. Mm. Ooh, smell that? Oh, yum. It smells like fresh caramelization. And I get two spoons to eat it with. That's 
So, Alush. Let's talk about Alush. It's an incredible experience to eat down in those caverns, but it is extremely hot and muggy. So you're gonna sweat a little or a lot, depending on if you have a, a fan next to you or not. This is why the hair got tied up in a knot on top of my Yeah, Sarah was glowing. <laughs> So, so it was very nice. Yes, it's very nice. It is not cheap. It is definitely not cheap. We've been there twice now. We spent $175 the first time, and we just dropped $130 then. So This time. This time, yeah. So as you're watching at the end of this vlog, as you saw previous. But it's beautiful. The caverns are amazing. They've got them well lit. They've got water features going on in there. But the cost is worth it. The food's good. The service is good. Yes. Um, we can't complain about that. No. So it's just not your typical um, cost that you're gonna have here when you eat out. Right. That's right. It. It's gonna be. It's gonna cost you to eat there. But it's well worth it. The ambiance alone is just just to sit in there and just look at all the stalactites and the stalagmites is just. And hearing the water trickling through. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed our food adventure. And we hope that you come back for some more adventures with us as we continue on our global geezer journey. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> so these are little, little packets of salsa yeah they're in a little tied up baggie and then you just poke a hole in it or bite a hole in it and yeah. of course sometimes away. they explode in your mouth <laughs> and you get a mouthful of salsa <laughs> right off the bat i'm gonna take you to the local zone or take you, you can do that mm. mr tongue twister. yeah things i have to do just to get our beauty on the picture <laughs> <laughs> Now that everybody's done laughing. Okay. Wow.